This is one of my personal designs and it's called the Blazing Star. Now, this is the kind of block that you want to have the AccuQuilt cutter for. When I worked on this pattern, I thought I would go crazy kind of making templates and drawing everything out. It was not easy. And Lynn, this is the die. I, ha I have the die right here, and you can see all of the different intricate shapes that are involved to make this great block. Uh -huh. And uh, this is also a bob or a block on board die. So that means with one pass, and we're gonna show you how to do this with your Go Cutter, you can cut out an entire block yep. and just, and just one, one pass block. through the die. So just amazing. Right. So it's, it's simple. I call these the outer points and the inner points. I mean, how easy can you get, really? And then with the black um, is, as the background and the cornerstones, it's really bright. And it's in, in, it's in our AccuQuilt colors. Yes. What do you think? <laughs> but I have my Christmas quilt that I love to hang in all of the beautiful golds and greens and reds, the poinsettias, and it looks lovely at Christmas. And, and I feel so good because people go, wow, that looks like a hard block to do. But it's not really, not that hard, especially when you have my pattern called the Blazing Star. And I have to reference it every time I make this. They're really good directions. So let's just go right to the fabric. So it says you're going to cut rectangles and background is the first color and you cut pairs but then you put the pairs right sides together. Right sides together. It's that mirror image thing. I did two pairs both right sides together. This is A and we're going to get enough for one block. Okay, so this is how confused I get. I actually took the tape and put it on top, labeled it so I wouldn't get mixed up. I think I, that is a great tip. I, I think so too. We need all the help we can get. Okay, that's background 4A and then B are the outer points. Actually, if you look at this one, the outer points are this color but I ran out of that color, so I substituted. So now these are the outer point colors. So <clears throat> the instructions say put the dark on the bottom and the medium on top, right sides together, and I have two stacks. B, get it all lined up. Those are plenty big. I was really generous. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, we have C. This is C right here. These are the two darkest. It says put the dark on the bottom. That's the black. And then the medium right sides together to it. Again, I have four. You know, this is really going to be quite a trick, huh? Yes. So we found out whenever we cut, it's best if you go with the points. Right, the right? short sides of the shapes through the cutter first. Instead of like the broad sides. Right. So All right. That's a little cutting tip. Good see. luck. So we're going to see how you do. So now I'm going to turn the page and be ready for sewing it together. All right, and we're using our Go Big cutter. So this is quick and easy. <laughs> I love that cutter. And it's it's just great that you can cut an entire block. I in know. One pass. I know exactly. Okay. We'll okay. Slide. So slide it off. Okay. And I'm gonna hand you. We'll do A first. Okay. Cool. A first. So I have to look at my book, look at my pattern, and it says open them up, and put them like this. This is another block. We're just gonna set it aside. And then we're going to go to B. And so we're going to open it up. Let's see. It shows B on this side right here, like that. And the dark one right over there like that. That's looking good, huh? Yeah, looks There we great. go. And then we have the C. We're going to open that up. 
and it's going to go whoop, not like that, like that, and like that. Ready? I think that's right. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. So check in the book. Make sure. <laughs> uh, yep, 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 yep. Okay. So even though it looks so complicated, it's really just straight lines. So you take this one, flip it right sides together. Take this one, flip it right sides together. And you just let this little tip right up at the top, just a little tip at the top. On this one, this one, you let the tip hang over. Match up the bottoms as best as you can. Oop. Okay, quarter inch seam. Love my matching red thread, huh? So, so whenever I saw this one, I said, oh, this is for AccuQuilt. And I really, really like it. I have a couple more ideas too, Lynn. Well, I can't wait to hear about them. Yeah, it's something that you not want to cut with a rotary cutter or scissors. Okay, this is for one fourth of the block. Now, right now, let's just put it on your pressing mat, set the seam, and then just open both of them up. All right. But get both of them. And so then I'm just gonna take this one and have these ready. So if you look at the block, this is what it looks like when you get it together right in the middle here. It all goes together into that great point. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward pressing. And it shows you right there. That's what you do. Turn the page, beep. And now we're ready for the bottom part. And I love it in my patterns. We show this little flippy arrow, always the little flippy arrow. Okay, cut it and, all right, perfect. So this one goes right there. That's gonna line up there like that. And this is gonna line up right here. Okay, so I think I have it backwards, don't you? No, it's upside no. down. Yes. <laughs> okay, flip it right sides together. This one goes right sides together. And then you can just let a quarter inch tip hanging out here and just line it up at the top, at the other end as best as you can. Get it straight along there. Sometimes you have to do a little stretching. Get it lined up and quarter inch seam. And right here you have just a little tip. You can't see it because it's the same color as the so straight, but I'm just pulling it a little bit. So whenever I um, get it sewn, it'll work good. Okay, that one, take the next one, and got that little tip hanging out. This is the kind of one that you don't know how much tip to let hang out or when to cut it off, but just give a little pull right there, straight across. Now, the pressing is a little different so that we're ready for uh, locking the seams together. When you press the red, press the seam down behind the background in gray. Okay. Okay, when you press this one, just set the seam and press it straight up like that. And that's it. Okay. And I'm just gonna let it connect it there because it'll be like putting a pin in there. Okay. So that you can um, actually match it. And what I like to do on the back of this one, when you sew these all together, we do our little swirling trick so that it, it's all locked in place and matched. Okay, how's it coming? You know, Lynn told me that she actually um, presses her seams open. I said, oh, that's really different. So we're each learning new things, huh? Yes. I like uh, the uh, back of my quilts look as nice as the front. I know, I agree <laughs> with you. Oh, you can leave them there. Oh. <gasps> Put it back. <laughs> yeah, it's about okay. That. No, you know why I like to leave that connecting thread? That's just like it's um, a pin. A pin. You said that. Yeah, it was like a pin. But look, doesn't matter. We can still lock it together. Okay, one is going down, one is going up. It's best if you have the one that's going up 
on the top because as you come into this, it just um, pushes. It pushes the, the top one down into the bottom one. And I learned that. And I all, almost always put my uh, dark on the top. I usually always press toward the dark. And if you just sew with the dark on the top, then you can just set the seams with dark on the top. And then just, um, it works really good. And then just um, sew it. Okay, I'm carefully getting this little guy lined up. The stiletto is very helpful. Honestly, I can't sit down at my machine without my stiletto. Okay, I get to look first. Okay. Don't I look. really, I really want to look though. Ooh, what do you think? Oh, that looks that is oh, just perfect. Isn't that good? That is very very nice. And so now I'm, you can just press it to one side and then I'm going to show you. We have a couple of little tips that we can go ahead okay. and cut off. I'm just going to use the rotary cutter and uh, a ruler just to kind of clean up those edges. But I'm just going to take this one away. It looks so good. Move it. All right. So this is just a little... Uh, one inch by six inch ruler, just something tiny. You can have at the table, but I just want you to know I personally signed all 5,000 of these. You're going to have to go home with one of these. Oh, very valuable. Definitely want that. <laughs> definitely. Okay, so whenever you've got that all pressed, then just take your ruler and because of the angle, you're going to say, oh, that doesn't go out right out to the tip. That's the way it's supposed to look, exactly like that. There's just a little bit of seam allowance, about one-eighth of an inch. Right here, the seam is supposed to go right into the point, and that one, I'm not bragging, but it is perfect. <laughs> okay, and then over here, that same thing with the one-eighth inch out, and just trim it. And then the tip up here, right up here, it's a little thick. Um, but it would sew together better if you just do a little trimming. So I feel like just going home and making all the rest of these pieces. So that's just going to go in there like that. It looks perfect and it's going to be a great match. Look at that. And it's not easy, but you made it look so oh, easy. Thank you. I have that knack. 